Hey MHS, we're so excited to have you all back. But with COVID and everything else going on in the world, we've made some changes to our daily routine. To help you out, this video will highlight those changes. Okay, so everybody has to wear a mask. From the second you step into the building, all teachers and staff will be required to wear one all the time. You're not allowed to wear face shields at school because they don't offer the same protection as masks, gaiters, or bandanas. And no congregating in the hallway, guys. If you are getting dropped off or picked up, parents should only use the student drop-off slash pickup access lane in front of the building. Never use the student lot. Parents can drop off anywhere along the curb in the marked area. This allows for multiple cars to drop off at the same time. Students can enter the building through any of the three entrances. It is strongly recommended that parents exit the drop-off lane by turning right on Belvo. All classes will be 43 to 47 minutes, and there will be a six minutes between each class period. In most cases, academic period will be held in your second period classroom. So how does our day begin? Students can start entering the building at 7, 10 a.m. You can go to your locker and report directly to your first period class. Breakfast will be served in the commons. The only students allowed in the commons are the ones eating breakfast, and they will have assigned seats. All the other students sh should report directly to first period. One of the biggest changes is going to take place during lunch. Let's go through lunch step by step. One, wash or sanitize your hands. Two, then go directly to your table. Each table seats four students. Three, if you pack, you can start eating right away. Go for it. Four, if you're going to purchase food, wait until your seat is called before getting in line. Five, you will go through the lunch line just like last year, but socially distanced. Six, you can remove your mask while you're eating. Seven, unfortunately, you will need to remain in your assigned seat and cannot visit other tables. Eight, and you should not go out of your seat unless you're throwing away trash or using the restroom. Nine, when the bell rings, you are dismissed to go to your next class. 10, additional seating will be available to students in the lecture hall. Students are encouraged to bring their own device, such as smartphones, iPads, tablets, and Chromebooks. With this device, whether at home or at school, you'll need to download Google Classroom, Google Docs, and Google Sites. All of this will be accessible through Classlink. If you don't have your device or don't want to use it, you'll have access to school equipment. Items can be dropped off for students in the student services vestibule. The items will be placed on a table and students will be called from class to pick up the items. Make sure you walk on the right side of the hallway. Keep moving. And remember, no congregating! There will be 27 hand sanitizing dispensers at MHS. While sanitizing is great, washing your hands with soap and water is best. If you have a classroom with a sink, soap will be provided so you can wash your hands. If you can't wash your hands, be sure to use hand sanitizer. Students will be using lockers again this year. There will be no backpacks allowed in the classrooms, and there will be no sharing of lockers either. The locker number and your combination will be on your schedule. If you have any questions, go to your academic period teacher and they will help you out. Backpacks aren't allowed, but you are allowed to carry a small purse, a pencil pouch, or a lunchbox during your lunch period. Guidance counselors are still available, but you have to sign up with Google Forms and they will make an appointment with you, although they are still available for urgent situations. Students have access to the entire card catalog of the Media Center through Classlink and will have no touch checkout. If you find a book that you want to check out, email Mr. May and he will pull it out for you and you can pick it up. There's always one-way traffic through the Media Center. You come in through the atrium and you exit through the commons. Restrooms are open all day to students and there should be no congregating while in there. The number of students allowed in the restroom is the equivalent to the number of stalls or urinals provided. And don't forget to wash your hands. If you're ever feeling sick during school, you can go to your teacher and request a nose to see the nurse. Thank you, sir. You're only supposed to come into the clinic through the commons. You're not allowed to enter or exit through the guidance office anymore. Student dismissal will be done in two stages. One half of the students will be dismissed at 2.12 and the other half will be dismissed at 2.15. Students should go directly to their locker and then head over to their dismissal area. No one should con congregate inside or outside the building. Face coverings at all times in the building and if you're not socially distanced outside. 